hi guys my name is destiny and welcome back to another video in the chat application using django and react course and on this one we're gonna go ahead and start off by structuring our model the chat model that we're gonna be using to store chats retrieve and do all that kind of stuff that's all we're gonna be doing hopefully you guys will enjoy the video to make sure to drop a like because that's subscribing s it will really mean the world to me and i will also recommend that you take the authentication using django and react and also the to-do list using django and react tutorials to better understand everything that's going on in this one so yeah that's going to be it do make sure to check out the links in the description below one of them might help you become a pro django developer like the courses that i have there check them out if you need coupons or discounts to make sure to hit me up and if i have any coupon or discount i'm going to pass it over to you all right so yeah that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that i'm going to do is open up my code editor over here and i want to open up the back end open up api and i want to open up models py all right okay before i do this there is just one thing i want to do to actually get you guys ready so in case you haven't followed the tutorial before and this is actually your first time you just want to follow the the, the django um chats app tutorial then this is what we're going to do i'm going to close this off right now and i'm going to open up my my editor this one over here and search for github so i'm pretty much going to come over open up my my github and um so let's make sure okay yeah i'm going to get to the internet and i'm going to come over to my repositories okay so just hold on while this loads up okay yeah, then i'm gonna i'm gonna click on repositories and this is gonna load up on my repo there you go so right now what i'm looking for is to do lists with django and react so i'm gonna open this up and yeah so also just so you guys see i am already working on the hotel management system as you can see over here we already have it committed hotel manager is using django and very soon we're gonna roll that out trust me it's really gonna be a nice course everything is really really top-notch and professional in it you guys are gonna enjoy it right so now i'm gonna open this up and um, i'm just gonna download the zip all right so you can either download zip or you could clone this but i think downloading the zip will be made more user friendly all right so let's just hit download zip and um this is gonna download over here okay i think it's 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 already done i'm just gonna open this up and there you go now i could just drag this and drop it on my desktop right so drag and drop on my desktop and um that should be it yeah i'm gonna close this one up okay so hopefully you guys can see this let me keep it here so that you guys can see now it's got to the list react and django go master but i want to call it some like some like chats chats projects right so i already have this um this one over here this chats project this was the one that i worked on mainly and i don't even think i've committed it to github yet let me check so I think I need to come into the GitHub and and put the link in the tutorial. Yeah, I don't I don't have it here already. So yeah, I need to I need to come into the GitHub and also put the link. I'm go I guess I'm gonna do that after this this course is done. So what I just wanna do is I'm gonna change the name to maybe some like chat projects done. All right. So this is the done one. And um, I'm gonna open this one up. I I can change the name of this one to chats project. All right. So one is chat project done. One is just chat project. I'm gonna put it at the top here and open it up with code that's visual studio code and let's see how there you go this is how everything everything looks now i want to open up the the chat project done open up the template open up this one and i want to copy the template and paste it down here so yeah i've actually structured out the template i'm gonna delete the snippet we don't need that any longer let me see what we've got in the snippet actually before i delete it um this is i think this should be the, the to do yeah we already have that so if you open up the template then you see that i have this file called to do in the to do we have the the file charts we have this authentication we have this all right so i made it more simple so that you guys can actually access all the templates from one place instead of having it you know all over the places now the first thing that i'm going to do is open up my terminal you can hit ctrl tilde on your keyboard i can come over to terminal and, and click on the new terminal so i want to see the into front end and this is the front end over here now we want to download all the dependencies that we're going to be needing so if you open up packages and then you see that we need all this 
um, sweet a lot, react this, react dumb, and all this kind of stuff. So I want to download this. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah. I think I think that should be it. Let me just go ahead and hit npm i. You can hit npm install or npm i, and it's gonna go ahead and download. You just do that and hit enter on your keyboard, and watch this download. All right. So this is gonna go ahead and install all this React things here, all this React um, dependencies. And while that's happening, let's go ahead and open up our API model. I'm still gonna explain that when we get to React, but let's start creating the chat model now. So just down here, I'm gonna define a new class. So I'm gonna define a new cl I'm gonna call class, and I'm gonna call it. You can call it chats message or whatever you want to call it, but I'm going to call it chat message and it should inherit from models the model. All right. First of all, we need a field called user. That's going to be the main user of this that's sending the message. All right. It can also be the same thing as a sender. So I'm going to say models dot foreign key. Okay. So models dot foreign key. There you go. And for this one, I'm going to pass in the user model. And I also want to say on underscore delete should be equal to models dot cascade. All right. On, on underscore delete should be equal to models dot cascade. All right. And um, I think I think that should be it for now. That should be it. Now, I want to add a related name to this related name should be equal to let's say user all right there you go that's the two things that's the two things that we want uh oh i think i have an issue there okay i'm gonna say user okay user and i'm gonna just hold on a sec okay and i'm gonna duplicate this in three places and call this one over here sender and this one down here, I'm going to call it receiver. So um, I'm going to call this one receiver. There you go. And for the related names, it's going to be receiver. And this one also is going to be sender. Perfect. Now, after you've done this, we also need a field for the message. So I'm going to say message should be equal to, should be equal to models dots. Let's use char field for the message. And I'm going to say the max length of, of a particular message should be, now this one is up to you i'm just gonna say a thousand characters and um, i think that should be it for this one and also we need is red should be should be equal to um, i think that should be models the boolean field and we should say default should be equal to by default a message should not be read all right there you go and we also need the final one that's going to be the dates that the message was sent and this one is going to be dates time field and we also need auto now add should be equal to true. So if you've got if you guys have been following along with the previous tutorial, then I'm very sure that you might you might understand what's going on here because we have the same thing over here. As you can see, we have the same thing over here, we have the same thing over here. That's what we'll be doing in the previous tutorials. So after this, now let's just define a class meta and we just want to order. So I'm gonna say ordering should be by what we want to order by the from oldest message to the newest so i'm gonna say date this should be in a string so we are ordering by this field dates you can also order by id but just order by date all right and um i also want to use of i also want to say verbos underscore plural underscore name should be equal to let's just call it message right so when we call this message in the admin it's instead of it showing chat messages it will now show up message i'm going to show you guys that don't worry and after we've done this i also want to define a string string representation of whatever objects that gets created in this model. So I'm going to say self and um, I just want to return an F formatted string and I'm going to say self dot user should be the first one. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to say self dot sender and self dot receiver. All right. And self dot receiver. Perfect. Okay. We are done. And finally, we need to create some custom method. So the first one is going to be the sender underscore profile. So sender underscore profile. So we need this to be able to get the user that's sending the, the message. We need, to, we need to be able to get their, you know, their image, their full name and other kind of stuff. Okay. So sender profile, you just need to pass in self in here as simple as that. 
and we need to say sender underscore profile should be equal to profile profile dot object dot get and we're gonna say user should be equal to self dot sender let me explain what's going on so remember the profile model that we created at the top here it has a field called user now we want to get the sender profile so we simply say hey grab the profile of whatever sender does over here that is why we said hey get a profile when the user is the sender and to actually activate this you just need to say return sender profile all right so a function must always return something and finally we also need to create one for the receiver all right so i'm just gonna grab this receiver profile and you could just replace all this sender with the receiver and that should be it and this should be self the receiver there you go it's working perfectly well i think that's pretty much it let's go ahead and register this in the admin so in the admin i'm just gonna copy one of this also and um paste it down here and for this one how about we pass in chat messages there and we import a chat message and over here we want to call the admin chat message admin list editable let's be able to edit the is red i think that's pretty much it we need the sender we need to see the receiver should we see the message yeah we can see the message because it's in a chat field it's not going to be too long let's also see the is red and should we also see the days that the message was sent i think there's no need for that and after all this is done i'm going to put in the chat message admin over the end I'm going to put in the chat message in here. All right. As simple as that. So we should be done. We should be done. Let's go ahead and run Python manage.py. Python manage.py. Make migrations. Hit enter on your keyboard. And uh -oh, we need to see the, we need to go back one step back and we need to see the into back end. So actually, I canceled the step that was going on over here. Remember, we are installing the React dependencies, but it seems to be slowing down my PC. I don't know for some weird reasons. So I just canceled it out. All right. Let's not worry about it for now. We're going to do it when we get to the React section. So what I simply want to run over here is Python manage.py make migrations. All right. Okay. It says Django blah, blah, blah has no attribute models. Okay. I think we got ourselves some problem here. This should be model, not models. Okay, let's run this again. Python manage py make migrations. And it says, okay, this should be verbos e, right? Verbos, verbos plural name. The verbos should have an e. Uh, okay, yeah, verbos name plural. Yeah, verbos name underscore plural. I switched it the other way around. So run Python manage py make migration. Let's see what other error that we get. There you go, it's working. And let's also run Python manage.py migrate and let's see how everything everything happens right now. Okay, there you go, it's migrating, and after this, we should be done. Okay, there you go. Now let's just go ahead and run Python manage py run server. So Python manage py run server and um Okay, so now I'm gonna open up my browser and open up my admin. I already have this saved over here. So when I click on it, it opens up the admin automatically. And now I'm gonna go ahead and log in. So log in. Uh oh, I think, yeah, Um, is this my desktop at gmail.com? Seems I don't have a super user yet. So let me, tr let me create a super user. I'm gonna say python manage.py create super user. Well, I think, the database should be there or maybe maybe i actually did delete it let me check this git ignore oh, oh yeah i i ignored pushing the db sqlite all right and also for this one we are ignoring the node modules all right so everything everything seems to be working well let's just create a new super user so i'm gonna say desfix at gmail.com and also for the username it's gonna be destiny and for the password it's gonna be testing three two one and also testing three two one Perfect. Now let's run our server again. Run server. There you go. Perfect. Now let's try logging in again. Okay. As you can see now, I'm logged in and I, I now have a new model called message. So Hadimi, we didn't call the verbos plural, verbos name plural message. This over here is going to be called chat message, which is the default model name. So you can call this one whatever you want to actually take the changes over here. So now if I open up the chat message, I can now add a new, a new chat message and, um, let's say the user is and send, send this message is destiny the sender is destiny and the receiver is oh we don't have any 
other user now so yeah we can just add the message and save this you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and and add up a new user real quick so that we actually create this so password is testing three to one um every other thing should be the way it is i'm gonna say the username should be sammy and the email should be sammy sammy at gmail.com and i'm gonna save this there you go now the receiver is that and i'm gonna say hey sammy so destiny is sending this message can we save there you go perfect everything is working well as expected the sender is here the receiver is here the hey sammy is here and the is red so all this are showing up like this on this table because in the admin we set it up that way send that receiver message and is red that's pretty much it hopefully you guys have followed up to this extent and if you did then i'm sure that you might be on the right place to actually complete this tutorial don't make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as to really mean the world to me check out the courses in the description below one of them should help you become a better Django Django developer in no time if you have any issue if you have any question drop a comment in the comment section i'll try my possible best to reply you and help you out with whatever issue you have be it in this course be it in other tutorial or in programming in general hopefully you guys enjoyed the video drop a like consider subscribing and i'll catch you in the next video until then my love peace out